Hey everybody, it's Carrie from the Rapid City Public Library, your friendly neighborhood teen librarian. And when the outside looks kind of like this, not quite warm enough to go outside and do all the things you like to do, sometimes you need some indoor games. And that's what this month's Trash Panda Treasure Box is all about. And if you're watching this video, then that means you picked tic-tac-toe. So you should have gotten a set of markers, set of directions, um, newspaper or scratch paper, and then your bag and inside your bag should be all of your soon-to-be tic-tac-toe pieces. So we're gonna take those out of the bag, get rid of this stuff for a second, um, and we're gonna take our newspaper or our scratch paper and we're gonna fold it so it's just the right side to go inside our bag. Uh, if we draw on the bag just like it is now, it'll bleed through to the other side. So we want to make sure that doesn't happen. So we're going to slip this paper, which will act as a little bit of a barrier in there. Okay. Now to make sure that your tic-tac-toe board is the right size, I'm going to have you go ahead and put your pieces on there. Um, and a tic-tac-toe board is three by three. So you'll use nine pieces set up in three rows, and that'll kind of give you an idea of how big or how small you want this tic-tac-toe board to be. Um, I'm gonna grab a, a pencil to do this, uh, but what we're gonna do is just mark down lines where they would go. And you can certainly use a ruler if you want to. I don't mind if things aren't completely even, so I'm gonna kind of eyeball this but these pencil lines will give us an idea of where we need to draw our actual black permanent marker lines. And when we draw with a black permanent marker, it's gonna, it's called bleed a little bit, which means you'll write your line and the line will expand a little bit because when you write on cloth, it kind of pulls some of the ink out. So start thinner than you think, so it's got some, some room to bleed there. And then you can kind of square off the ends, um, however you want it to look. I'm gonna go pretty traditional with mine, just black straight lines. As straight as I can get them. And you'll be able to see when you're finished that um, the, the black marker definitely goes onto the paper, but because that paper's there, it will not bleed onto the other side, which is great. So there is our tic-tac-toe board, which means now we can take a look at our pieces. And you can tell that one side of these has kind of an arch and the other side is flat. And we want to draw whatever you want your tic-tac-toe pieces to look like on the flat side. So if you want to do regular X's and O's, um, I'm going to start out with a green X here. You're going to hold your piece and just kind of draw on that flat side. It's going to appear um, not super dark at first, so just know whatever you put on there, you'll probably end up going over it two or three times, and that's fine. And you probably want to go all the way to the edge when you draw because uh, that way it'll we're actually going to be looking at it through that domed side. So you want to make sure that it goes all the way to the edge so you've got the most space for whatever it is you're drawing on there. So there's my X. And when you play, you'll be looking at it through that side. But you can, you can definitely see it on there. Now... You can do X's and O's, absolutely no problem. But if you wanna be a little more creative, you certainly can. A couple of ideas that I have seen are kind of a, a bumblebee with black and yellow stripes versus ladybugs, which is red with the, the black dots. That's an idea. Another idea that I really thought was cool was um, to take the black marker and do um, pirates versus ninjas. I thought that was super cute. So you can do that too. Um, either one you choose, you'll end up doing five, 
of one design and five of the other design and we did include some extra pieces in there so if you lose one you can make extras. And there you have it, tic-tac-toe.